In Egypt, a battle against an invisible enemy is in full force, as the country's coronavirus isolation hospitals are at maximum capacity. And a health official says Egypt is now looking into isolating those with coronavirus in hotels because of the damage to the tourism industry, although that alternative will be higher in cost. So far, Egypt has had over 7,200 coronavirus cases and over 450 deaths. Meanwhile, in Jordan, life seems to be slowly returning to normal. The country has lifted restrictions as it eased its lockdown in order to jumpstart the economy. The changes include public transportation going back to operating as normal and industries continuing production. But despite that, universities and schools will stay closed and a night curfew will remain in place. Jordan has had over 470 coronavirus infections, with the disease killing several people. In Lebanon, harsher action in comparison to Jordan over the coronavirus pandemic. The country has extended its lockdown by two weeks over fear of a second wave of coronavirus infections if restrictions were relaxed. Residents in Lebanon have only been allowed to exit their homes to purchase food and essentials since March 15th. With an overnight curfew banning people from going outdoors for any reason between 8 p.m. and 5 a.m. Lebanon has seen over 740 confirmed coronavirus cases so far and dozens of deaths. Moving to Morocco, where coronavirus cases in prisons have jumped. Moroccan authorities recently confirmed over 20 new infections at a jail located in the city of Tangier, which had brought the number of cases in prison facilities to more than 340. This all as there has been over 5,200 confirmed cases in the country so far and more than 180 fatalities.